Pestini con pomodorini, which is a great appetizer that you can serve at any time before a meal or even as a snack. So we had some tomatoes left over from a 4th of July firework party and we're going to put them to good use by chopping them up alongside with this garlic, some salt and fresh basil leaves from the garden. I'm sure you all are well aware that you can use a garlic crusher, but you can also just put really nice fine little slices into the garlic, almost as if you were cutting an onion, and it will do the trick as well if you don't have a garlic crusher. So we're gonna turn it around, do that again, and just chop it nice and fine, and now this way, and here we have some beautiful minced garlic. Of course now, one of my favorite tools is a mezzaluna, and you just rock it back and forth, over whatever um, herb or vegetable that you're trying to mince, and that will do an amazing job as well. We're already gonna place our garlic in here, add a little bit of olive oil to it, so it doesn't oxidize. And also a bit of salt. So this is what we will put into the tomatoes once they're nicely chopped up. A little salt. Normally you would use some Roma tomatoes or some cherry tomatoes, and I'm just gonna show you as to how you can cut them up easily so that um, you can make them just into the right shape for the bruschetta bruschetta e pomodorini so I'm just gonna come down like this then you can once again cut down this way and then immediately you have a nice nice slices where you can cut them nice and fine like this you see there just as simple as that instead I'm gonna show you with the cherry tomatoes as well. So really this is all that is left over. And now for the cherry tomatoes, I usually just cut them in half, then in fourths, and once again, just like this. So this morning we were debating, we had all these beautiful tomatoes left over, and Sara said, you know what, why don't we just make some uh, bruschetta with the pomodorini? And this is what we're doing great idea. Just gonna turn them around and once again we have nice little small pieces that will be perfect for what we want to use them for. Now since tomatoes usually have a lot of water in them we're going to place them right in here and we'll put a little bit of salt on there and that will draw all the water out so the bread doesn't get soggy later on. And whatever water comes out you can always use it for some tomato sauce for pasta. And now the basil. We're just gonna get the basil leaves off. Look how gorgeous these are, they're so nice and big. And the aroma coming out of them is wonderful. All right, we're gonna cut them off the stem like this, and then almost uh, put them, stack them on top of each other and roll them almost like a cigar. Able to cut them nice and thinly. There we go. You see these fine little ribbons that we're creating? So you can either leave them into these fine little ribbons, just like this, or with the mezzaluna, you can even mince it a little bit finer. As you can see down here, we have gathered a lot of the water from the tomatoes and we can use that in a tomato sauce. And we're gonna place these right in here. And we are going to add the rest of our ingredients. I kind of like the basil in bigger chunks, but just to cut up the ribbons a little bit. We'll cut through it and then place it right in here 
to which we will also add the garlic and a little bit more salt. So here comes the garlic that we previously chopped. And we're going to add a bit more olive oil as well as salt. But we already have added some salt to the tomato, so we'll taste it first. And we also had some salt in the garlic. So now we'll stir all this up. And really, when you make it at home, depending on how many tomatoes you are doing, you just adjust the garlic and the basil. I actually might end up adding a little bit more basil to this because it is a lot of tomatoes. And we definitely will add some more olive oil. Let me taste just a little bit. A mm, little bit more salt. So you can adjust it with that. And here we have a baguette. We're going to slice it at an angle. I think to slice it about this thick. place these in the oven just to toast them a little bit and then this is where our pomodorini our tomatoes that we've been slicing will go right on top here our bread has been sliced placed on this pan we'll slide it into the oven for just a few seconds to toast and we are ready Sara preheated the oven so we're gonna slide these in Close the door and in no time they will be nice and toasty. Our sliced baguette is ready to come out and it's nicely toasted. What's so nice about preparing crostini con i pomodorini, these crostini with uh, tomatoes on there, is you can prepare it way ahead of time. So now we're going to plate it on here by just adding a nice delicious tomatoes full of flavor with the garlic the basil the olive oil and what's so nice is you can put it together right at the last minute when your guests are there and they're perfect for any celebration especially during the summer when the tomatoes are nice and fresh and flavorful we're going to do that with all of them once you toast the bread you can set that aside even in a, in a bag so they won't dry out too much, but you can set those aside and have them ready. But then right at the last minute when your guests arrive, that's when you put the tomatoes on and the tomato can be fixed way ahead of time and just kept in the refrigerator. So it's a great, great appetizer that you can prepare last minute. For your guests and there we go and I get to be the first one to get a nice taste of a crostina pomodorini. Buon appetito! Mm.